Due to volcanic activity, on the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, near the equator, the Galapagos Islands, were formed over a period of many million years, in the middle of nowhere. The archipelago of the Galapagos, consists of 18 main islands, as well as many smaller islands, rocks, and islets. The islands, which are located nearly 1,000 kilometers west of the South American coast, are a province of Ecuador. The Galapagos are divided into three cantons, that are named after the three biggest islands, namely, Isabela, San Cristobal, and Santa Cruz. The Galapagos Islands had a resounding impact, on the formation of Charles Darwin's, theory of natural selection. During his visit to the islands in September and October of 1835, Darwin noted, that the unique creatures were similar from island to island, but perfectly adapted to their environments, which led him to ponder the origin of the island's inhabitants. Nearly a quarter century later, in 1859, Darwin finally consolidated all of his observations into his famous book, On the Origin of Species. The publication of his life's work, drastically and controversially altered the scientific view, on the biological origins of life. The incredible diversity of wildlife, found in the Galapagos, is what makes this volcanic archipelago so very special. The islands are situated at the meeting point of several large oceanic currents, giving them a truly unique array of habitats, and a broad mix of wildlife on land, and in the surrounding ocean. The flora and fauna of the islands feature several endemic species of mammals, reptiles, birds, fish, insects, and plants, that are the inhabitants of the archipelago's protected areas, including the Galapagos National Park, the Galapagos Marine Reserve, and the Galapagos Biosphere Reserve. The most famous among them are the Galapagos Giant Tortoise, Galapagos Green Sea Turtle, Marine Iguana, Galapagos land iguana, lava lizard, Galapagos sea lion, blue-footed booby, Galapagos penguin, magnificent frigate bird, waved albatross, mangrove finch, medium tree finch, lava gull, Galapagos carpenter bee, and large painted locust. The surrounding ocean is home to several shark species, among them scalloped hammerhead, black dip, and whale sharks, and also the endemic Galapagos sharks. Different pelagic and reef fish, like Bacalao groupers, share the island's waters with marine mammals, like brides and sperm whales, common and bottlenose dolphins, and orcas that are seen throughout the year in the Galapagos. Humpback, minke, and blue whales are only present seasonally when they drop down from the north to the warmer waters. Due to the archipelago's distance from the mainland, visitors can only access the Galapagos Islands by plane. There are two airlines, Latam, and Avianca, that offer flights to the Galapagos. 
the only flights allowed to fly to the Galapagos must depart from either of two mainland Ecuadorian cities, Quito, or Guayaquil. There are several options to explore the islands of the archipelago for people traveling either alone, as a couple, as a family, or with friends. The best way to see most of the Galapagos Islands would be to book an all-inclusive tour on a cruise ship, like the luxury yacht Infinity. Land-based travel is more budget-friendly but requires advanced planning in terms of, accommodation, getting around, and food. The government company in Gala, operates passenger ferries between Isabela, Santa Cruz, Floriana, and the San Cristobal Islands. On larger islands car rentals are possible, and smaller islands are better explored on a bike. All of the Galapagos Islands are active volcanoes, and eruptions occur frequently. At a height of 1,700 meters, the archipelago's highest volcano wolf, erupted on January 2022, as the latest incident of this kind. After focusing on wildlife observation for days, you might wish to visit a town again. In such a case, villages and harbors of the Galapagos, where sea lions and iguanas act like domestic animals, and share the facilities such as markets, piers, and park benches with the local population, offer just the right mixture of civilization and wildlife encounters. If you happen to be in a larger city, then parks designed for the well-being of giant tortoises, and scientific facilities for turtle breeding, are well worth visiting. Due to its geographical location on both sides of the equator, and at the crossroads of nutrition-rich ocean currents, the diversity and abundance of marine life around the Galapagos are one of a kind, hence creating spectacular conditions for snorkeling and scuba diving.
the Galapagos Islands are a year-round destination, suitable for travel and cruises any month of the year, while the best time to visit is from December to May. These months coincide with a warm season, therefore, ocean conditions with high visibility and temperature are excellent for snorkeling and scuba diving. Brief tropical showers interrupt bright sunny days keeping vegetation green and wildlife active. Alternatively, from June to November, cooler and nutrient-rich ocean currents create an arid maritime influence. In the cool season, tropical showers are replaced by fog, and trade winds can cause choppy seas, but this is an excellent time for hiking and viewing active wildlife. I hope you enjoyed this virtual journey to one of our planet's last nature sanctuaries. Thank you for watching.